Okay, Wednesday morning in the kingdom, we don't know about the beer truck. Yes, I didn't find out on the internet, so I don't know. Maybe it's just too cold, eh? So this morning I woke up at 7 o'clock or whatever. It was minus 30 Celsius, okay? But feels like minus 37. Plus now it's 9, 10 or something in the morning, so it's actually gotten colder. The staff said it feels like minus 44 or something because she... You know, checking the weather to see if she has to work today or not. You know, a good employee. If it's too cold, I won't be there, Dad. Okay, but on the F scale... Oh, oh the wood smoke, okay. On the F scale, it's minus 22 Fahrenheit, which feels like minus 35 Fahrenheit. That's chilly willy, eh? Okay, and you can see the flag exercise over here. Okay, he's over there. All right. He's all tangled up, which is good because it was windy yesterday and the driveway blew in down there, okay? So I didn't know that till I left the kingdom and had to go get, pick up the pony. And then I found out that the book burb has traction control because the be wheels all spun together and we made it through the snow. So I guess I'll have to plow that out so I can get to back and forth to the staff's house to pick up the pony because getting stuck at the end of the day and having to walk isn't good, eh? But also, too, I'll try my talent here. Oh, all right. Okay, Sir Rodney at West Trans sent us this stuff here. These are trucker straps. Oh, God, not much talent today. Okay, these are trucker straps for tying down your load. And this is nice and soft and flexible, okay? That's what we want because we use it for weather stripping here in the kingdom. We don't buy that fancy weather stripping that doesn't work, right? Highly recommended, as seen on TV. Well, it doesn't work. We've been using truckers tie down straps for 20 years or more, but you gotta get the right ones that are soft and flexible and do not paint them because they may become rigid and hard. So now staff used all the, all the new ones or whatever we got, you know, at her house, cause she had to weather strip it cause it's their first winter in that house. Okay, and she's owned it for three years, but she's first winter. So now she let me have a couple of these tie-down straps so I can weather strip the caboose and a few other items in the kingdom here. Okay, but it's really cold. You can see I got my winter mitts on. Like that is real caribou fur, right? So it comes off and it gets everywhere. It's, it's shedding or something. I don't know. But it's freaking cold out here. I don't know how much longer I can stand out here and talk. I don't know. I don't know. But I, the sun is coming up in the south there. You can just see it over here. That's my nose getting cold. I sound like Les Nessman doing a weather report. Okay, it's too freaking cold. I'm going inside. Okay. Okay, third time trying to film this. We're on the trail here. The staff walked it right after uh, I dragged it. These deep footprints here, these deep tracks here, that's the staff walking on the sugar snow because she filmed me and then she followed me. So then when I walked the dogs at 6 p.m. at night, my foot was going down a wee bit. And here I am over here. <coughs> a little cough there, sorry. Here I am over here at 9 o'clock in the morning. So this trail is rock hard. It's firm, which is, makes it nice. So this is the purpose of dragging, and it works the same principle on winter roads. Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom, and I got that door weather strip. But I have to open the door to hammer the little nails in so my fingers got cold. So we worked on the door and then we worked on the escape hatch here. Okay, cabooses have to have escape hatches because when they fall through the ice, they float halfway at the window here and then you got a chance to get out because the door is usually blocked in with ice and water. So you have a hard time getting it open. But also too, it was a little trickier doing the weather stripping. Okay, there's a line on the weather stripping with the names on the side of the belting or tie down strap but if Hollywood films us they would want the name removed so it's better to fold the fold the belting over like that and then see the red line I think it's red through the material here it's a little trickier but when you're doing it with the uh, name side out with the red line it's so easier to line up at the edge and work away it's a lot faster but I struggled and I did it now it's lunchtime, and then we can go start a cat if the staff shows up this after lunch. Okay, after lunch in the kingdom, and I brought the thermostat out a little too soon or too early. The weather network said it's minus 30, so that's the number over there. And um, we're going to try and cold start this cat here. We had it plugged in only for 
I think the timer added on for six hours. So we'll see if it's going to start. And if it starts, we go plow some snow and drag a bit. Okay?
Okay, the little T9 did pretty good pulling the big the drag with the big tires on. Those tires are useless and hard to pull, but we just wanted to clean up a little bit of snow. Okay, starting this cat is tricky because the magneto has an impulse on it, which is basically spring-loaded, and it makes it fire differently, eh? So as you crank it over, the impulse has to load up to spin the mag faster, and being oiled and greased in cold temperature, the impulse acts funny. So you have to listen really closely when you're starting it, be quick with the choke, and then once the impulse is happy, it'll start. Okay, now I gotta go work on the book burb. Okay, it was only a 10 minute job to fix the electrical cord plug down in here. Okay, and I always put a rubber hose on the thing because the flat uh, black block heater cord is just too flat. So I've done this before, plus this is the little extension cord off the pink crew cap because we, you know, done it before. And we have to use the heat gun to do everything. So we have to warm up the wires, warm up everything, and stuff like that. So don't even try to do this job. But it only took 10 minutes because we're well prepared. And look at the Viagra cord. So that's the heat gun. You bring it in out from the warm shop, use it, and then take it back in. You do not try and flex this electrical cord because it's just going to break because it's chilly out here. Well, five o'clock in the kingdom and it's kind of dark. The book burb is plugged in so it'll start so I can go pick up the pony to walk him so I can freeze my ass off. And one of the joys of Sir Rodney sending us this D-ring or triangle ring for the weather stripping is we get to reuse the ring for other purposes and stuff. Oh yeah, and there's no beer in town, eh? The beer truck didn't meet up with the truck in the north or something like that or the rotation of the earth. So no beer till Friday. And there's no milk in town either. So I might have to, not sure what's going on. Maybe we're living in a new world where we can't get supplies. Maybe I might have to try some Brett's milk in my coffee or something. I don't know. Well, I better get going. Talk to you later.